16 Old Fashioned Frugal Living Tips to Try Today Old fashioned ideals and concepts of frugality are as applicable today as they were a century ago. Regardless of your current wealth or income level, you can still benefit from these frugal strategies. To be free from financial obligations is a crucial first step towards independence. By reducing your spending and saving more money each month, you may pay off debt faster and restrain yourself from taking on any new obligations. Let's talk about the 16 old-fashioned frugal living tips you can try today. Number 16. Spend your money on used goods. Your frugally-minded grandma realized that many people would rather get rid of perfectly serviceable stuff than invest in new ones, so she made sure she got as much use out of hers as possible. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Because of this, she always understood that a thing's worth didn't always depend on how old or pretty it was. At a time when most people seem to be continually upgrading their cars, homes, clothes, and even spouses, her quaint advice may come in handy. You can save money and time by purchasing items that have previously been used. Investigate secondhand shops, garage sales, and online websites like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. And when you buy something used, you not only help the environment, but also help yourself. Due attention and patience may be required to locate the ideal price at the optimal cost, but the rewards of practicing self-control over immediate gratification will be well worth it. Number 15. Trim the hair of your loved ones. The average price of a haircut in a salon or barbershop is between $25 and $100. This might put a serious impact on your monthly budget if you have a big family. You can save money and revert to more traditional methods by learning to cut your family's hair yourself. You can watch some instructions on YouTube, or you can ask a hairstylist in your area for some pointers. You can save a lot of money annually if you know how to utilize a quality pair of hair clippers or shears. The key here is having a cooperative household. Number 14. Try out some natural cures. Manufacturers are responding to the growing interest in natural and organic products by creating more products inspired by the natural world. Marketers tout a wide range of natural ingredients, honey, lemon, echinacea, elderberry, ginger, and lavender as cure-alls. This is excellent news, but unfortunately, many so-called natural goods can be prohibitively expensive when purchased in stores. As an alternative, you might develop your own home remedies to reduce disease. Number 13. Extract every single drop Turning sauce bottles upside down helps preserve the contents for longer. You may use every drop of your shampoo, conditioner, and other hair products by placing the lids upside down. Press the contents of your toothpaste and other tube products towards the cap with a pencil. Use a silicone spatula to get the last of the peanut butter or tomato sauce in the container. Avoiding unnecessary expenditures and making the most of available resources is a crucial aspect of traditional living. Try your best to finish the bottle off completely. Number 12. Use the fresh air to dry your garments. Our collection of recommendations for living like your grandma continues with an old school method for drying wet garments on the cheap. You probably always dry your clothing with an electric dryer. Unfortunately, the high amount of electricity used by these dryers will show up in your monthly account. Furthermore, dryers typically only last a few years, so you'll need to replace yours about once every five years. Instead of using a dryer, you might hang your clothes out to dry on a clothesline in the backyard or elsewhere. You won't have to pay anything, and your clothes will have fewer wrinkles and creases as a result. Number 11. Create your own homemade cleaning supplies. To clean the house, your great-grandmother did not use modern products like Windex, 409, and Clorox wipes. Rather, she resorted to making her cleaning supplies out of common home objects. Cleaning the house just required a small amount of baking soda and vinegar. To avoid paying the high prices seen in stores, you can easily create your own homemade cleaning products. It's way cheaper. Number 10. The use of disposables must end. Disposable items may be easy to use, but they come at a high financial and environmental price. As an alternative, you can save money and aid the environment by purchasing goods that don't need to be thrown away after use. Number 9. Maintain your clothing in good condition. Many people also spend a lot of money on clothing, especially when they are attempting to stay on top of the most recent fashion trends. Yet, if you're eager to adopt retro lifestyle practices, it's smart to maximize the wearability of your current wardrobe to cut down on wasteful apparel purchases. Making your clothing last longer by hand washing them instead of using the washing machine has one option. Number 8. Put your DIY skills to use around the house. 
Back in the day, not many people could afford to call in a professional handyman when something broke in their homes. They had to fix it on their own instead. Many problems these days are easily solvable by anyone with access to current resources like Google and YouTube. YouTube is a great resource for learning how to tackle things like basic plumbing, appliance repair, window replacement, masonry, etc. If you're enjoying the video so far, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to see more money-saving tips. Number 7. Consume more water and less soda There are many advantages of substituting water for soda. For starters, you must satisfy your basic bodily requirement for water. Soda is unnecessary. Secondly, there is very little cost associated with consuming water. The cost of soda can be up to $6 for a 12-pack. Number 6. Make your own pot of coffee as a culture, we've evolved into connoisseurs of the perfect cup of joe. Our reasoning was duped into thinking that $7 was a fair price for a caramel frappuccino. This sort of luxury would leave our more traditional ancestors scratching their heads in bewilderment. Spending more than $100 per month at a hip coffee shop is a luxury most frugal people can't afford. Number 5. Grow Your Food If you have a yard or even a balcony, consider planting some of your fruit and vegetable plants. In some cases, this might be an excellent method for cutting grocery costs. Food grown at home not only saves money but also tastes better, is healthier, and gives you a sense of pride in your efforts. Growing your own food might be intimidating, so it's best to ease into it by starting with a modest space. This will allow you to get a handle on the fundamentals and discover what kind of strategy is most successful in your setting. Number 4. Composting DIY by enriching the soil in your garden with compost, you can increase disease resistance, improve nutrition, and enhance the flavor of your tomatoes and other veggies. Either go out and buy some compost or manufacture your own, and it won't cost you a dime. Put your leftover vegetable and fruit scraps from dinner into a compost bin to ensure a lush garden. Food scraps such as used coffee grounds, vegetable and fruit peels, eggshells, stale bread, and tea bags are all examples of such items. Number 3. Don't buy bread, make it of course, your great-grandmother certainly didn't have access to such technology that can make bread easily. Using her wood-burning stove, she would knead the dough by hand and bake the bread. That is how life was in those days. Nevertheless, in today's world, baking your own healthy bread at home is not only possible, but may also save you both time and money. A bread machine can knead the dough and keep it at the ideal consistency settings for you. The few ingredients required are both low-cost and likely exist in your kitchen. For as little as 50 cents a loaf, you may make your own. Number 2. Plan Your Meals Your predecessors didn't have the luxury of running out to grab a box of cereal from the store in their car on the way to work. The groceries they bought had to last them the entire month, so they had to budget carefully. For those who are trying to save money on food, one of my best recommendations is to plan your meals. Meal planning on a weekly or monthly basis is really useful. The most significant gain could be the time and money you save by not having to make any impromptu trips to the nearest eatery. All the dishes and their respective preparation times will be listed in your meal plan. And number one, facilitate leisure time. These days, it appears, people would rather be entertained by others than entertain themselves. Going to shows, plays, and games is enjoyable, yet the cost of such entertainment is high and may need to be charged to a credit card. People in the past lacked these opportunities for filling their time. They skipped going out and instead did inexpensive and easy things together as a family at home, like playing cards, marbles, or board games. That's it for today's video. We'll be right back. Until then, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And in the meantime, check out this video about the 10 tips to feed your family on a budget.